two of that massive cadaver dog search at the old Florida school for boys in Okeechobee today. And once again, those cadaver dogs came up with nothing this afternoon. Our Brian Nitton is live at that school where he just got an up update, in fact, from investigators moments ago. Brian? Shannon, you said it, investigators now searching three of the four targeted search areas. And again, those six cadaver dogs, known to be some of the best in the state, came up with no hits today. One of the big issues today was just how dense the land is uh, where these dogs were searching. We were just up in Chopper 5 a little while ago to show you what it looks like from up there. Up here in Chopper 5, really an amazing vantage point of just how huge this entire school is. Take a look. You can see how thick the brush is. The captain says this is one of the issues they've run into over 50 years that has really, really grown up. So they're using that brush clearer that you see right there, and they are leveling the land. That way these cadaver dogs will have an easier time getting in there. Another issue today, the captain told me, is the heat. Uh, yesterday they went till about 3 o'clock. They're thinking that the dogs might have to wrap up a little earlier today. Good news, the wind isn't too strong, and that's something that these canine handlers are really concerned about because if the wind picks up too much, it can carry the scent farther than they want it to, and that will really confuse the dogs. Also, uh, rain can be an issue because if it rains, the dogs will have a harder time smelling, uh, especially old bones that could have been buried 50 years ago. We know that they covered two areas yesterday. They're hoping to cover uh, one or two areas today. Uh, yesterday, no results, no positive hits for cadavers, but we know all of that uh, could change. So again, uh, where we stand today, we've got one final area that needs to be searched. They're going to start tomorrow at 8 a.m., Shannon, and coming up at 5 o'clock, you're going to hear from investigators. Uh, they just spoke to us a little while ago about their reaction to another day with no positive hits. So, Brian, before you go, you know, you've talked about in your reporting leading up to these searches in the last few days and then now just in your reporting today. So the soil, how compact the soil is or how dense the brush is, that can determine whether a dog might pick up the scent. Is it too breezy or not? Either way, that can be bad in terms of the ability of these dogs to pick up the scent. Had, did investigators today mention that if we go for a day three and there's nothing picked up tomorrow, will they then, as they did in Mariana, perhaps bring in that radar you mentioned yesterday? It's really interesting, Shannon, because we've asked that question now two days in a row, and they don't want to comment on it. They say, hey, let us finish this investigation. Let us use these dogs for a third and final day, and then we're going to um, answer your questions about where we go from here. Obviously, all of the former students who have been out here uh, really setting up shop right where we're standing right now and watching as the search goes on would like them to commit now to bringing in those uh, university professors and using that radar. But at this point, they're saying they want to finish with the cadaver dogs and then they'll make that decision. Understood. Finishing step one before committing to step two. Brian Nitton, excellent reporting again today. We appreciate it. Thanks.